Assalamualaikum. Welcome to this video tutorial on simplifying Java for OOP1 students at King Faisal University and for others who want to learn Java. This is part 26 in this series and is entitled Building Application for Deployment. Building an application for deployment is as easy as choosing the Run option from the main menu and Clean and Build project. To demonstrate it, we're going to create a, a Java project that will ask for a user to enter two numbers and will display the result when the first number is raised to the second number. We will use matpal method to do that. We will build the application and run it in command prompt. We'll name this project power. So let's import java.util, that's scanner, because we're going to ask uh, numbers from the user. Let's instantiate it. Let's call it input is equal to new scanner system that in okay now let's ask the user to enter two numbers. Enter two numbers separated by space let's put those numbers in variables n1 input that next int and n2 so that's the first number and the second number now to get uh, the result since we're using a mat.pow, the result should be double. It's equal to mat.pow. It will be the first number raised to the second number. So the arrangement is n1 first and then n2. So let's display the result. System that out that print line uh, n1. raised to n2 is the result okay so that's it let's try to run the program here inside that means first enter two numbers separated by space 5 space 3 so 5 raised to 3 is 125, correct? So now we'll try to build our application by clicking Run and Clean and Build Project Power. Okay, it's successful. Now notice this um, message. To run this application from the command line without and try java-jar d colon java projects power dist power dot jar. Uh, Upon compiling and building it, uh, it produced this folder dist for distribution and uh, the jar file which is called power.jar. So to run it, we have to go to the command line and type as what he said, java dash jar and then our path is d colon backslash uh, java projects backslash power backslash this folder backslash the file power dot char so if I press enter key we have to enter two numbers separated by space 5 and 3 5 raised to 3 is 125 now to show you the folder, we'll go to the explorer in drive D, uh, Java projects, and then power. There is this 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 folder, the distribution folder. Then if you double click it, there you will see the executable jar file called power. To appreciate this building of applications better, we will create a Java project that will display a new application form containing a label that says, My First Form in Java. So unlike our first activity, this uh, project 
can be run inside the windows. Let's name this project my first form. To create our first graphical user interface form, you have to right click the package new and select application sample form. In case you don't see this one, you have to go to other swing GUI form and then application sample form there. Then double click or click next and let's call it new application form. Click finish. This is our first form in Java. So these are the controls that you can uh, select and drag inside your form. The good thing about this form is that there is already a predefined menu. So let's try to drag a label inside the form. Drag it. Right click. Edit the text. And type my first form in Java. Okay. It's your first for our first form in Java. We can run it by right clicking this uh, class and run it. Another way is because and because we need it to be built and run it outside the windows, uh, you should go to the source first and look for the main method here. Select it, select all inside the met main method, copy it. Go back to your my first form and inside that main method paste it. Okay, so now we can run it using my first form. Right click, run. That is our form and that is the label that we just did. Okay, uh, what's important is that we be able to build it. So click run, clean and build project. The message are the same. But what's important here is that if we close now, NetBeans, and we'll go to the Windows Explorer and to our Java projects, my first form, there is that dist folder or the distribution folder, and there is that executable jar file, my first form. If I double click this, there is our form with our menu and the label that we just created. Well done. We just learned how to build applications in Java. So now you can go back to your previous projects and build executable jar files for them. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Mas salama.